Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna take this plain yet spacious closet and change it into my own little sanctuary. I am going for a rustic and glamorous look. And if you guys wanna see how I did all of this on a very tight budget shopping my home, stay tuned. So guys, getting started with my contact paper. You all know how I am with contact paper. Nothing is safe around me. It's such an easy way to make a really huge difference in a space. And I'm just gonna put it on the back of the walls in all of the closet. Now, in most cases, I would match the seams of the contact paper, but because I'll be hanging up clothes in front of all of the strips, I didn't think that it was a really big deal to do so. So this is just me applying the peel and stick contact paper to the walls. Um, I'm just cutting and measuring. So getting to the shopping my home part to decorate the closet. Now I've had this mirror for quite some time. It's really plain and I would like a mirror that is framed in wood. So I just took some old vinyl that I had laying around the house and I just cut it to size and I will be sticking it on the frame of the mirror that is currently there. Now what I use to make it stick together is wood glue as well as some hot glue because that uh, bonds immediately. And I also gave it a little bit of a white wash just to change the look. You'll see at the end result that I went over it with another coat because I just felt with the wood contact paper and the wood frame, it was just too much wood and I needed to break it up. Another item that I found shopping my home was this, um, I guess you would call it a desk organizer. I've used it for chopping boards. I've used it as a charging station, just depending on the space of the home that I was in. But um, ultimately it is now going to be my makeup organizer here. Also those rocks that I showed you were new. They're from the dollar store and I just wanted really earthy tones in my closet. So I am using those to stick my makeup brushes in. And that glass, you guys, I did not buy. That is also something I shot my home. It is just an old candle jar that I cleaned out. So I'm just going back and forth organizing my makeup, just putting things in different sections. I really thought all of my lipsticks would go in there, but it didn't fit. So I decided to use the um, larger little bin right in front of it. Um, so what I'm trying to do right now is because as you can see, they're falling all over the place. I'm gonna try to put a small box in there as just to keep it tight, but that didn't work either. So I just, gonna have to be a little bit more careful when I set them up and I set them down things like that um, this is not all of my makeup I do have a little bit more I have a little satchel that I keep in my purse for when I'm out on the go when I want to touch up but then I also have I guess what you could call back stock and I just keep that under my bathroom sink so now for the tour you guys Let's start right here at my door. I just have a hanger here on a command hook with all of my baseball caps. Um, when you need space, you just create it. There's always some space, either look up or behind something. So here to where my shoes are displayed. Um, this was just used to be a bench that was in my entryway. I just painted it white and set all of my high heels here. I do have them stuffed with packing paper to keep their shape. So here's my little vanity area that I just showed you guys that I set up. All of these things I shot my home for, except those flowers, those were new, as well as this um, picture frame of me and my husband. I got that from the dollar store. Um, right here are just some skincare products. I just set them over to the side because I prefer them not be visible, but definitely accessible. So here goes my husband's little section and nobody come for me about being inconsiderate. My husband has a whole man cave plus our garage. So me giving him this little itty bitty space was just fine. 
I've got my boots up top as well as two little baskets that I'm using for storage of overnight bags, some little satchels that I hold things in if I'm going on a date night, something really small, as well as my scarves up there. I don't have many purses, so it was really easy to display them this way. So here's the mirror that I really did, you guys. I really wanted it to stand out against that contact paper, so repainting it completely white was really a good idea. I'm really happy how it turned out. There is one new item that I bought and it's this one right here and it's um, just a little rack for a closet, just a space saver. I got it from Family Dollar, it cost me six bucks. And over here in the back corner, I have all of my tennis shoes on it, just shoes that just aren't really aesthetically pleasing and I just didn't wanna display. So you guys, that is it. This is my closet tour. This is how I try to turn it into a rustic, glam, chic type of place just for myself. I hope you all enjoyed and got some ideas and inspirations and some ways to save a few dollars. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.